A Doll's House, the classic 19th century play by Henrik Ibsen, features one of the most iconic characters in theater history, Nora Helmer, a young wife and mother who was forced to question everything in her highly structured life. It's now getting a new Broadway adaptation, starring one of today's biggest stars, Jessica Chastain. Jeffrey Brown has the story for our arts and culture series, Canvas. It feels like you're incredibly exposed as an actor because you're not given, you're not able to hide behind anything. In A Doll's House, Jessica Chastain takes on a famous character in a new way, in a stripped down, no props or period costumes production, envisioned by director Jamie Lloyd. Chastain recalls an early meeting to talk about his approach. He mentioned something about no props. I was like, what do you mean? And it was very difficult for me to even imagine. The play as written begins with her eating cookies, right? right? And then in the very first scene, her husband Torvald asks her, you look guilty, have you been eating cookies? And she says, no, I would never do that to you. Yeah. You have no cookies. There's no cookies. Yeah. I'm not miming eating cookies, there's just no cookies. I said to Jamie, how, I don't understand how to do this. Like we say in the very first scene that I'm not honest. But I swear that I would never do that to my husband. And the audience has just seen that I have. Mm -hmm. So we're not given that opportunity to do that now. And he goes, you'll do it in the acting. And you're like, oh my God. You know, when I saw that clipping with my face on it, I thought for a second that you were proud of me. For Chastain, it's just the latest in a string of high wire, attention getting, often award winning roles, including an Oscar for Best Actress last year in the eyes of Tammy Faye. Sometimes it's hard. And a recent Screen Actors Guild Award for the series George and Tammy. You need to slow down. I know certainty freaks you guys out, but it's a hundred. She's been a top Hollywood star at least since 2012's Zero Dark Thirty. But her love of acting began on stage, growing up in Northern California. In rehearsal here, she began to find her Nora, a young wife and mother kept in place by society's strict rules of behavior, who suddenly faces a crisis that forces her to see the world anew and make decisions that will change her and others forever. It's an old story, but, says Chastain, still plenty relevant. She is playing within the system to try to get what she needs. And that's Ibsen. I mean, that's 1879. Mm -hmm. He was incredible what he, what he wrote back then. I think it's just, on the paper, the obvious version is this poor woman has been victimized. But also, I want to say, how is she participating in it? Mm -hmm. And how scary it is, because we all participate. It's not even necessarily... Um, associated to one gender. The original play has been adapted by playwright Amy Herzog, a co-writer on the recent TV series Scenes from a Marriage. If I don't leave right now, I know I'm never going to. In which Chastain also starred alongside Oscar Isaac in a story of another troubled marriage. Herzog credits Ibsen as a major influence on her own writing. Here, she says, she sought only to pare down language and scenes, matching the pared down style of the production, to bear the essential quality of the characters. What's going on? Sit down. This will take a while. I tried to dial up the ways Nora was in control of the situation. So even if she's playing, um, you know, innocent or playing a victim or playing helpless, it is, it's still a choice she's making, and she is still sort of, in significant ways, the director and stage manager of the proceedings, even if she gets what she wants by playing a sort of traditional woman. You, you saw that in the original? Absolutely. Because it's, I'm not sure that's the way everybody reads it or I think has seen it in the past. I think you're right, but I don't think that's because it's not there. I think it's just the way the, the play has been received as this kind of feminist polemic has flattened some of the subtleties of the original. Chastain says she wanted to avoid presenting a polemic or TED Talk argument. The unusual staging helped. Even before the play starts, she sits alone on stage, looking at us. You don't have the props. You're often sitting in a chair. Where does the energy come from? It comes from the audience. This is a whole different way of working for me because in the theater, you create like the fourth wall, right? And in some sense, I had fear of the audience. I was nervous. I felt like they were an obstacle to what I needed to do. I mean, this is you in the, in past, the past in the theater? The past. Yeah. Even though I had started in the theater and I'd done a lot of it, 
I was aware of every cough. I was aware of every single person who opened up their food and started eating, or their phones were going off. And I felt it all like, almost like an assault. And in this production, it's been fascinating because I feel the exact opposite. What is it that you get from acting? There's an immediate intimacy with acting. I find that in many cases, even if we pretend we're not, we're all sensitive beings um, that are very tender and have a lot of emotions and some people work very hard to protect themselves and put up this wall, right? And we see that on the subway, we see it, you know, talking to people sometimes at a coffee shop, how are you doing today? Fine, thank you, how are you? Oh, fine, thank you. But we're never really connecting on an intimate level uh, with strangers. And acting really changes that for me. I mean, I show up on a set, could be someone I've never met before, and there's an immediate connection, an openness, and we're not allowed to be guarded around each other. In addition to her acting, Chastain is known for her activism on behalf of women in Hollywood on issues such as pay equity and beyond. When we met, her mind was very much on the ongoing women-led protests in Iran. When you think about having all this choice now about what mm. you do, what's important to you? I'm drawn to characters that see women as three-dimensional human beings. So that can mean that they do complicated things. They can subvert the stereotypical gender roles, which is very interesting to me because I find anything that pushes a status quo of what a woman is supposed to be or supposed to do, that I think is a step forward um, because we've always accepted men as being able to do multiple things and I think we need to see women also as human beings. So that's what I'm drawn to, uh, characters that treat women as human beings. Simple as that. <laughs> simple as that. It's actually, so it sounds so easy, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Um, but I think with, with uh, some people it's still not super easy. <laughs> Jessica Chastain inhabits a doll's house through June 10th. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown on Broadway.